So a big part about uh, building a sales team is you know making the right decision for the client. You can push somebody into a program, but if it's you know too much too soon, you're gonna hurt the relationship. And in business, trust is everything. Once you've lost somebody's trust, it's very hard to regain it ever. I'm Vince Del Monte, and my vision is to coach 275 fitness professionals in 90 days to stop wasting their time on personal training clients in the gym and build a profitable online fitness business so they have more freedom and impact. This is my day, let's go. Hey, what's up guys? It's um, Thursday and I just went for a 45 minute walk and my legs are jelly. Things don't work as well when you're over 40. I'm just joking, screw that. But I'm on Ben's program. I'm doing weights Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I've worked harder in my last two weight training workouts than I have probably all year. I gotta loosen up on the days in between the weights. Um, my gosh, I can't even like bend over. Anyways, today, you don't need to know all that working in the business today, which is not my favorite part about being an entrepreneur, but it's crucial if you want to have a high functioning team. A lot of activities today that don't produce immediate payoff, but that are necessary for long-term payoff. Let's dive into the day. How's the 25 day challenge going? Which one? Oh yeah. <laughs> going good in some areas and I've been hit and miss in other areas. I would say I'm like 70% better than I was last month on all of these things. Been really eliminating the processed foods. Normally see that bacon over there? Um, I would not let that bacon just sit there. Normally if I saw a muffin or a pita with peanut butter and jam, I'm not putting that in the garbage. That's going down the chute. But now I'm staying disciplined. <laughs> I'm not gonna feel guilty because I can just stick to this plan and take care of my energy. Hey, what's up? We are back with the Vince Del Monte podcast show. Great to have you today. And we're going to talk about a really powerful concept called you can't sit still. Sometimes we feel like we should be slowing down as a sense of progress. And I think that can um, lead to comfort. It can lead to stagnation. And what we want to talk about is how to stay on your business and not burn out. I think that's like the counterintuitive thing we're talking about today because you know, a lot of people, uh, they want this freedom and I think they uh, just kind of disconnect from their business. They stop doing things, they outsource too quickly, uh, they hand off tasks without clear SOPs and systems and next thing you know, they're moving backwards. One of the reasons why a lot of people, in my humble opinion, they sit still is because at some point they want to coast, but you can't ever coast unless you're selling your business. That's the only time you get to coast, right? It's, it's three major things in the business. So let's say you should always be generating leads. You should always be taking phone calls. You should always be giving world-class service. So I always say, if you're not out there actively generating leads, your business is slowly going to grind to a halt because leads are the lifeblood of your business, right? All right, guys, let's have at it. So my win is I just have to make more distinctions. I feel like I'm feeling like pressure to hurry up and get more seven FCs. I'm trying to go for the long bomb all the time. I think I've kind of messed up a few six FCs trying to go for the long bomb. John, think about when you were best in September when you farm people up and you just maintain that, play the long game. I get it, man. We're gonna, we gotta work with what we got. Like we're gonna hit the goal. Like that's yeah. non-negotiable. Like. So a big part about uh, building a sales team is, you know, making the right decision for the client. You can push somebody into a program, but if it's, you know, too much too soon, you're gonna hurt the relationship. And in business, trust is everything. Once you've lost somebody's trust, it's very hard to regain if ever. So a little thing we were just talking about is we've got this goal of 275 members by a certain day, and our head of enrollment is, you know, shared a bit of pressure there to not let the team down and wants to put people into the program and that is the best program for everybody but uh, for some people it's a little bit of a stretch it's like putting somebody in the deep end before they can even swim in the baby pool sometimes you just have to make a better decision for the client right now and know that if you maintain their trust people will ascend to the next level so always put the client's needs before your pocketbook I think it's 2K for like part time. So this is and Big Frank. Goes, Frank's school and the advanced members right now. Uh, Frank has been with me for over five years. He's from the Netherlands. 
and he's got uh, eight figure business. He went from nothing being a trainer to uh, scaling his business all the way to over $40,000 a day on a bad day. Rapid fire, no BS. Best guy in the world. It's amazing. I <laughs> So I'm supposed to be teaching now, but Frank's taking over the show. Uh, this is a call we do every Thursday for all of our advanced members. So it's um, just one hour, just Q&A. Uh, we have over 100 people though in our advanced group who are doing over 20K per month. And this is a chance for them to get their questions answered. Just straight up Q&A, we don't teach. It's just do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. Something you can look forward to. Dan Locke calls it a, a personal media platform where you're gonna invest massive social capital into the space where you're giving, 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 filling up people's goodwill bank account to the point where people that never even thought about doing what you do now hire you. This is how you're gonna grow your following by tapping into audiences that, with people that already have the like, know, and trust factor and who can start sending you high quality followers. And then with the YouTube, what we've gone back to now is I'm going back to the old school document style where I'm just documenting my life and we're tracking our road to 275. I'm showing the behind the scenes that we're filming right now. <laughs> we're uh, filming our exit out of Canada and you know today we've got a, a power washer here and uh, a power washer, is that what he called? It's a power washer? I think it's power washer. Cleaning the house because we've got the photographer coming over today to take photos of the house. And we're just gonna keep documenting everything involved with leaving this country. That has nothing to do with building a business. Like that's not tactical. There's no how-to information. In order for your following to grow, you need to become an attractive character where people truly see you as like a, a, as a inspirational, charismatic, um, bold leader on a mission. All right, the mission is what you're working on right now. So you're marketing your podcast, your YouTube channel, that has to start like, you have to start showing that. And you can't say it anymore. People have to see it lived out. I can talk about freedom all through the yin yang, but if I'm stuck here in Toronto, not able to do anything unless I have a vaccine passport, I'm not really demonstrating freedom. But in order to keep scaling, you need to start investing time uh, and money an effort into a platform that might not produce leads in two to three months, but will produce leads forever in two to three years from now. It's okay, it's just okay. Let mommy talk for one second. Let mommy talk for one second. It's okay. Why is today so stressful? Because we're getting pictures taken of the outside and this house sucks. <laughs> we have walnut trees that leave stains on everything. Just yeah, a lot. Mommy's talking. <laughs> okay. Holy cow, this one here. This. Let me ask you a question. Um, what do you need from me? Finish moving things from the downstairs to the garage. Okay, I'll go doing that. Anything else? Do you think you have the easy job or the hard job? Me? I forgot. I, <laughs> I got the easiest job in the world. I'm gonna be careful what I say oh right now. God. Oh my gosh, this garage is. Don't film in here. This is embarrassing, but this is what we gotta do for now. And where am I supposed to put these? Like, what am I supposed to do with these? Jeez, this end up falling against the car. It's gonna scratch the car. I don't have time to organize this. Gotta figure out how to take that. that what is it even doing in there? I put it in there. Dude, my freaking hips are killing still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even walk properly. When was the last time I used this thing? I didn't even know we had one of these. Isn't that a pressure washer? Uh, a power washer, is that what he called? It's a power washer? I think it's power washer. Exactly. This is exactly my point. What? You don't do it. I have to hire out. This is not my zone of genius. When I got into entrepreneurship, everybody told me, all my business coaches, they tell you delegate, 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 you know. So I delegated everything to the point where, you know, I haven't shoveled my driveway since I moved here. I find the kids who will do it for 20 bucks an hour. I just hire somebody. I haven't cut the grass ever since I, we don't, I don't even know if I have a lawnmower. Do I have a lawnmower in here? I'm not a handy guy. Now I'm moving to Tennessee. I'm feeling a bit of pressure. I probably should start learning how to use a knife and I don't know, be a little more handy. I don't have a lot of tools, but that's fine. I got plenty of time to work on that. Oh, this thing. Where am I supposed to put this? Bobby, where am I supposed to put this one? Figure it out. In order for your following to grow, you need to become an attractive character where people truly see you as like a, a, as a inspirational, charismatic, um, bold leader on a mission. How adorable. <laughs> I want that life. 
At the end of days where you know paid ads aren't running smoothly, we're not scaling those as we anticipated, I look at the big picture. We're on the way out of the country, we're gonna sell this home, we're gonna make, a, I think, a nice little mint on this one here. And I just realized that your life is an accumulation of a lot of decisions, not just one decision. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Road to 275. If you want more motivation, follow me on Instagram, click that link, check me out. And if you're ready to discuss starting, growing, or scaling your own online fitness business, there's a link in the description. We love to serve you and help you get your first 10 to 20 clients and grow your business to 100, 200, even $300,000 plus a year without ads. All right, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you're notified next. I think our next episode, if not one or two from now, will be flying somewhere where we're gonna be residing. You don't wanna miss it. Subscribe, talk to you soon, ciao.